welcome back to my channel, Torathena, where today I sound like a frog and I look like a tired frog. Is that what a tired frog looks like? <laughs> I have done some pretty stupid things today. I am so tired. I haven't had a good night's sleep for about a week. Um, and then obviously I'm still catching up from the really busy week I had last week. Today I was so stupid that I was trying to get my PJs on and I put both feet in one leg and then just fell over. So the lesson I'm taking from this is if I can run a business, anyone can. I'm also still poorly. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm also still poorly and I am officially fed up of it now. My cough can go away. Go away, please cough. But we're not here to talk about me, we're here to talk about comics. And this week has been... Not ridiculous, but it's been a busy week again. There was 14 issue ones I picked up, three ongoing issues, which were Dead Vengeance issue two, Paper Girls issue two, was it? And, um, I can't remember. I haven't read them yet, that, that'll be why. Once, once I've read them, they're ingrained into me, but yeah, so I haven't got around to reading the ongoing issues yet. So shall we talk about what I have read? Let's go. The Hangman. Issue 1. This is about an urban legend that every criminal should know about. And once the hangman decides he's after you, you're already dead. Hitman Mad Dog Mike Minetta will only know this too well in the first issue. Can he escape the hangman? Pros! I really liked the art in this. It's not usually to my taste, it's quite gritty, but it works really well for this story and therefore I liked it. Some of the scenes are shocking in this. A couple of times I'd be reading the comic and my eyes would just bulge. There's, there's some scenes in this I don't think I've ever seen in a comic. I mean, I haven't read every comic out there. I'm not saying it's unique, I'm not saying it's the first to do it, but it is more shocking than the standard comic. You do really want to carry on reading this. You want to know who the hangman is. You want to know why he's doing it. And you, you want to know. You want to know the story. I love any story that has two sides to a person or a character. Mike Minetta is a horrible hitman who has no feelings or empathy for anyone he's hitting on. Hitting on. <laughs> but you also see how he is with his family and his wife. And you kind of want to find out more about him. Cons. I'm not 100% sure what happens in the last page. I don't know if I'm reading it wrong or the art hasn't portrayed it properly or it's meant to be ambiguous so you don't know what's going on but I don't know what's going on. If you've read this let me know. I don't want to give spoilers so that's all I'm saying. I don't know what happens. Overall it's a comic that's got me excited. I can't remember the last time that I saw an introduction to like some sort of superhero vigilante and I wonder if how this is people felt when they first read a Batman issue you know. I'm definitely picking up the second issue to see where this goes. Unfollow by Vertigo Comics, written by Rob Williams and drawn by Michael Dowling. At the age of 24, a social media king is dying and he decides that he's going to leave his billions divided equally between 140 people around the world. If you had a special app turn up on your phone or tablet that said 140 on it, you were one of the lucky chosen. So far we've already been introduced to some of the lucky chosen, but we also know that there is going to be a catch. We just don't know what it is yet. Pros! I simply adore this concept. I loved it. I flew through this comic. As it even mentions in the book, it's like a modern telling of Willy Wonka. <laughs> there is a very dark undertone in this story that we have yet to find out what it is, but we know that there isn't just going to be some happy ending where everyone inherits millions for no reason. Cons. My only biggest gripe with this was there were adverts and they did disrupt my flow of the story. Overall though, it's a story that I have to keep reading and I really want to see where this goes. It's pick of the week! And before I tell you what it is, I feel like I have to put a slight disclaimer on this. My top three comics every week for the last three weeks have involved at least one 451 Media Group comic. Last week it was actually pick of the week and this week it is too. I just kind of want to make sure that you all know that A, I buy these comics. I choose the pick of the week and I am not endorsed or sponsored or anything by them. It's just because they kind of come out of nowhere and they've just blindsided me with these awesome comics. And I don't want to take that away from you. I don't want you to think, oh, is she being made to have these as her top picks or whatever, blah, 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 blah. To the point where I had to get in touch with one of the writers of this comic and ask him for a massive favor to get hold of some 
preview art for me because I couldn't find any online and this comic I loved so much I had to show you all in its full glory so thank you so much Andy you are a lifesaver but yes it's pick of the week and it's Ex Mortis by 451 Media Group the rising star in my comic reviews Written and created by Paul and Pete Williams and adapted by Andy Ewington. And let's not forget, drawn by Raymond Bermudez. Basically, the plot is 1943 and World War II is at its peak. The Nazis have finally found the diary of Victor Frankenstein and they fully intend to create this undead army. As soon as Britain got wind of this, they realised they needed to fight fire with fire. They have at their disposal their own legendary creatures. And we all know an epic battle is about to commence. Pros! This comic just ticks all the boxes for me. Everybody who knows me knows I love history. And everybody who knows I love history knows that I specialise in this period. So any story, film, whatever that instantly is set in this time, I just fall in love with. Peter Panzerfaust, Mouse, Mother Russia. They're brilliant. But I'm also a horror nut. Anything with horror in, I love as well. So this is just like two awesome babies making an awesome super baby. They've done their research and mixed real people into a fictitious world and it's, oh, it's so good. The pacing is stunning and the art is sublime. It is just beautiful. The art is just absolutely stunning. While being monochrome, it's bold and detailed and it stands out. But then when he does his flashbacks, he's able to change the art entirely and make it this soft, beautiful, but still monochrome look. Ah, oh, oh, be still my heart. <laughs> Cons. My only little con is in the beginning where you are introduced to one of the protagonists who is a werewolf, but he can't control his abilities. There is a lot of action in that flashbacks and storytelling where you don't really know what's going on. But at the same time, I take that more from a horror perspective because whenever you put a horror film on, you never see the full thing straight away. You've got to watch at least three quarters of the film before you start getting the full glimpse of the picture. So as a comic, I'm not 100% sure if it works completely, but if you like horror, then it still works. You get the referencing if that's what they're trying to do. It works. Overall, this story is sublime. I have subscribed, but if I only could subscribe to one issue this week out of the 14, it would be this one. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Have you checked out any of these comics yet? Are you going to check out any of the comics I've just been talking about? I've also been asked recently when I'm going to start doing graphic novel reviews again and I weirdly was thinking the same thing. I have been far too lax in that and I will be reading and reviewing some of them today actually so hopefully next week there'll be some up. If not it'll be the week after or when I've done them. The point is I'm doing them. <laughs> also I just want to quickly mention that I've noticed I've passed the 400 mark on my subscriber list and I know in the world of YouTube that's not a lot of numbers but to me that's unbelievable. I only do videos that I am passionate about and that I care about and the fact that more and more people come across my content and they like it and they enjoy it and I get to converse with them and talk to them about comics and my passions and my hobbies it just makes me so grateful it makes me so grateful that you're watching thank you so much and if you have done already subscribe and you'll make me even happier like and comment below you know that makes my day and I try and reply to everyone and I will see you all very soon take care bye bye